The next speaker is the Honorable Lakota. All the Honorable Members. Oh, thank you. No, I thought that the, the microphone was there. Thank you, uh, Chairperson. Uh, Honorable Minister and uh, colleagues, state security flows from the premise that if we guarantee our national constitution, we secure our state and our people. The proposition we made to ourselves is this one. Let us found our state on a constitution that upholds the rule of law and entrenches the Bill of Rights. South Africans have rights and responsibilities. Unfortunately, it so happens that those rights, like such as protests, demonstrations, and so on, often ends in uh, excesses. Cars smashed, shops smashed. But these excesses are not rights. They are abuse of rights. They are criminal acts. They have to be dealt with and arrested firmly. Nevertheless, the fact that we, we arrest them, we stop them, does not mean that law-abiding citizens may not demonstrate. The task of educating the public as to where their rights start and where they end is part of some of the executive departments. Nevertheless, I do want to say, uh, a Minister, and to, to the House, intelligence is one of the most critical instruments of protecting the Constitution and ensuring that law and order is maintained in the country. It cannot be done, sir, if intelligence does not deliver reliable intelligence. In the recent period, we were told that there's something called the third force. We were not told who are these characters. Do they have horns? Or do they have tails? We were not told where... No, please, this is a discussion. We were not told where are they to be found, and so on and so on. But then we proceeded. No, please, let me make the point to the house. We were not told... We were told the soldiers, the armed forces, are being released to go out and stop them. But they were not also told what were they going to look for. We, loyal citizens, patriotic citizens, who wanted to support them, how are we going to be able to tell them that the third force you are looking for is here, there, because we have been told what they look like. The whole thing amounted to superstition or guesswork. Consequently, citizens sleeping peacefully in hostels and so on, they were just harassed with their underpants and all of that. Now, honestly, that is a violation of the rights of the citizens. Intelligence, we, we will support this budget, but we want this budget to be used for what will secure and protect law-abiding citizens, not to harass each and every citizen that happens to be in a hostel. And then they had to go into, into Alex. I didn't know whether, what they were going to look for. There was some young chap was shown in their pictures holding an okapi, and I thought, anybody who's got an okapi in Alexander must give way. The armed forces are coming. They're going to shoot that person. Because what else were they going to be looking for there? They were not told what the state force is about. Intelligence must be precise. It must be con concrete. It must enable us to maintain law and order. We support this budget, but let it be used for what it's supposed to do. Don't release the armed forces from the barracks without knowing where you are sending them to and without them knowing where they are going. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member.